Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Wanting Mare. And this fantasy, science fiction, romance film is about, over the course of a couple of generations, this family, through the women in the family, pass on this dream to each other. And this is written and directed by Nicholas Ash Bateman. And this film is very strange. It's about like an hour and 28 minutes. It's not a very long film. It's actually quite a short film. But boy does this film take its time. And this film moves along with no sense of urgency or like driving force forward. So you always feeling like you're kind of just in this space, moving along very slowly shifting between story threads and ideas and with new characters and something about this story never really clicked with me. I'm sitting here watching this film for the hour and a half and never really feel drawn to the characters, drawn to the story that was happening. There's a lot of very poetic type dialogue throughout the film and I think that's very fitting because realistically this film is really a poetic device in motion. This is a poem, a moving visual poem. This film is gorgeous, absolutely breathtaking. The fact that this is all, like I looked it up, it was like shot in a warehouse. So much of it is special effects and they're so real. They look so real and realistic and when I guess they don't, they use a very, they do not use deep focus. They use very much focusing on a character up front and everything else behind them is a blur, but you see this world, this world building going on behind them, but it's all blurred out. So it's like, maybe you can't see all the details. But throughout this film, it's beautiful. It's so well shot. Ash Bateman directs this film really well in that way from a visual standpoint. And you have the cinematography from, from David A. Ross. You have the composer Aaron Boudour uh, and they're just there's a sense of beauty and different colors there's some really amazing like black and white shots you have thematically put into motion these different visual cues like this horse that keeps popping up the mayor in the title you have this horse popping up through different stories and there's amazing shots of this horse starkly in this like black and white shot where these long scope of a shot and you have these big castles and this these wide wide open roads and leading up to it and there's just a sense of scale and gravity to everything visually this is a, an exquisite film to watch but did i ever feel connected to it I don't really think that I did. And you have all of these cast members, these characters, the cast members are doing their best, they're committing to this role. But it is so fluid sometimes in how it's portrayed that it never really feels like it's engaging you, it's gripping you, it's just kind of moving along with you. Maybe a little too slow and you're like, are you gonna catch up? And you're just like, this is a real slow, real slow experience. I'm loving seeing everything, but I'm not loving feeling everything because I might not be feeling much. And that's the tricky thing about this film is that there's so many great things visually, but in the end, I just felt like this film felt so hollow and just left me feeling very empty at the end of my viewing experience. And if you're somebody who can just appreciate a film, for the visual storytelling and the beauty of it, this is definitely something worth checking out. If you're really wanting something that's going to reach out and grab you and pull you in with the story and these characters, this really isn't it. So you might not want to check this one out on VOD. But those are my thoughts on The Wanting Mare. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.